is Lockheed, and I got a little book I want to review with you. Actually, the game I'd like to review with you. I'm going to touch up on a on a game that I've been playing for a while that uh, hasn't really been touched upon by Seven Realms, which is Silhouette. Nice little compact game from Canada with a few other supplements. Um, Take your Craig. Heavy Gear, Jovian Chronicles. I, it's one of the few games I've actually had a long-running campaign I was playing in. A really, really good experience. The core rules, which is about uh, almost 300 pages, set up like a generic RPG, a little bit more comprehensible than GURPS. You only need D6s, small hand like that. It doesn't get as extensive as Old School Exalted. Uh, you're looking at maybe, if you're not wanting to pick up other people's dice, probably you want about the Take around six dice. The mechanics are really, really simple. When you're actually doing a test and stuff, you roll uh, the dice as your skill plus your modifier that is your stat. It, it fits very, very well with its other books. Kind of like how Palladium, where everything is nice and universal and everything can pretty much fit in any setting that you want to pull from. I want, you know, these mechs from Heavy Gear in my Jovian game. I want the Jovian Gear vehicles to supplement my Core Command game. They all have their own solid settings if you want to play within their own campaign worlds, but there's nothing holding you to stay with it, which is a really, really good bonus when looking at any role-playing game. Then all I know to sell up books as far as a role-playing line, you're little, if you're trying to buy all of them, you're looking at maybe 10 books, and they've just recently discounted them on their website. Instead of running sales and everything, they have them on a lower price line and everything to, to encourage us consumers to go buy them. They also extend into minis, which isn't my forte. That's probably something you'll have to talk to Jay Random about. The character creation in this is fairly simple. It's a point by system. Your XP goes directly into spending it on your character rather than a level system that every time you hit a, a plateau, you get points or whatever. It's, it's, it's all done just straight XP. I'd say the XP expenditure is kind of like how you'd see like in a, the Old World Darkness games. The last printing of the core book was in 2006, uh, back in the popularity of the OG on 3.5. And in the back of all their books, well, all the books I've looked at as far as their role-playing books, they actually have the OGL stats in case if you're wanting to be really, really sadistic in a D20 game and pull in a freighter or something. The game itself is technical-based, being that uh, two of their game lines is is an X and two of them is you know, space opera, with Jogan you know, being the mesh between the two. The only real complaint I've ever heard of this system is some of the balancing issues with the weapons in Cork Command. It doesn't really uh, scale well, kind of like uh, if you're familiar with how some of the weapons and stuff in old school rips used to be where you know some personal weapons were a lot better than vehicle weapons, but it really didn't make sense to be like that. It's, it's a similar mess up. It isn't something that shoots the game in the foot, so a little bit of GM adjudication, think a little bit quicker on your feet. You can sideline that, maybe a small little patch in your own homebrew game set, uh, setting. But other than that, it's a very, very solid setting. As I stated before, it doesn't really take so long to make a character, but if you're making a vehicle, you're probably going to spend a little bit more time on it. The vehicles themselves are also a bit of like a point by mechanic. It's a very, very solid system for your buck. If you're wanting something a bit more uh, mystical, they have the Tribe 8 setting. It's a post-apocalyptic setting. Some supernatural influences on it. Um, not so much like what you would see in a high fantasy setting where you know people throwing down fireballs down. It's a lot more subdued, a lot more uh, political minded. The Core Command, which is the one that, that has that little bouncing issue with some of the weapons, that's pretty much strictly space opera. It has a few alien breeds and everything in it that uh, player characters may choose for uh, their concept. It's a lot more of like an exploration style game like if, if you're wanting an alternative for something like Star Trek. But that's how that one is and it is really well with the Jogan, which is the other space opera which I really really like. That one again, you know, no supernatural aspect or anything, but it has a lot of uh like genetic manipulation to make, you know, your super soldiers. You got your warring factions. As a matter of fact, I believe Jovian's Chronicles was I think that started up as an independent campaign setting for Necton. And then that brings us over to Heavy Gear, which is a pretty much Borderlands with a lot more packs, like the, the Borderlands video game, but it, you're on a desolate uh, world that uh, it gets a little bit more tropical, closer to the polar areas, but the main area, the Badlands of it, is pretty much desert, and you got a lot of territorial disputes. 
which you know gets really really gritty the value of human life is fairly low in that area you got a lot of different factions law independent bounty hunters and vigilantes all just kind of fighting you there like bees in a jar about the 10 bucks if you're going for like an individual setting you would want to get the main book the core rules and then the player's book of whatever setting you've been going to then they have other supplement books if you're if you like uh, the different factions or whatever, if you want to expand a little bit more into one area or another. And it translates real cleanly into the miniatures rules from what I've seen. Again, I'm not a miniatures guy that he's you have to talk to Jay about. It's a lovely little system and I highly recommend it. That's it for me. I will see y'all later.